welcome back to another video. Tomorrow I'm going on holiday, so today I'm preparing my garden before my departure and I wanted to share with you a few tips and a few products that I'm using to keep my plants hydrated while I'm gone. Of course, living for holidays can be a bit stressful when you have a garden and when you have a lot of plants because we always have that terrible thought that when we will come back we'll find our plants completely dried out and dead. I personally take my holidays, longer holidays, in fall and in spring and I leave my balcony for as long as three weeks and usually my plants are just fine. But when you live in summer, even for a short period of time, it can be a bit stressful because of course the weather is different, it's way hotter and it's more windy and there can be hailstorms and all that stuff that can happen. Uh, but generally I think the watering is the biggest issue because the soil dries out so quickly. So ideally, of course, you will ask a friend who could come over and water your plants while you're gone or you could install a drip irrigation, which is an automatic watering system that can be set on timer, which will automatically water your plants when you are not here. Uh, but I don't ever ask anyone to come over to water my plants, and I also don't have outdoor water source, so I can't install drip irrigation. Um, but there are a few things that I do, and it worked really well for me, so I want to share this with you, and hopefully you will find this helpful as well. So first I bring small and fragile plants in the corner of my balcony that doesn't receive direct sunlight. If you have a small balcony or if your balcony doesn't have any shaded spot, you can just group plants together or hide smaller, more fragile ones behind bigger plants or under a bench or a table. When plants are grouped, they create their own microclimate, so they won't dry out as quickly and they also protect one another from winds and storms. Next, I feed and water my plants. When it comes to fertilizing, do not increase the dose, just feed your plants as usual. Fully saturate the soil when watering. Do not worry about overwatering. It's not the amount of water that causes overwatering, it's the frequency of watering. So it's totally okay to water a lot in one time before you leave on holidays. You want to see water coming out of the bottom of the pot. One of the products that I use are these ceramic bottle adapters. Um, so you just fill the bottle with water and you use it as a lid and then they slowly release moisture. But you have to fully saturate the soil before. Although my personal favorite are hydrogels. You can buy them in different forms, they are available pretty much anywhere. First is sort of a jelly pillow, if I can say so, and the second one are crystals. Crystals can be mixed with soil at the planting time to help with water retention, but even if you haven't used them at the planting time, you can still add them later on. For both of these products, it's indicated on the package how much you will need to use for one pot, depending on the size of the pot. So that's how it looks and you basically just place it on top of soil or you can just slightly bury it. For crystals I'm making a few holes and I will add them inside and cover with soil. Here also make sure to water the plant generously afterwards. Don't forget to harvest your fruits and veggies before you leave. So that's a quick peek on what I do in my garden and yet again it's not a miracle solution. If you leave your plants for a week or two in the middle of summer without water, you have to be prepared that you may lose a plant or two. That's just part of gardening. When I come back from holidays some of my plants look half dead, but they usually regenerate within a week. If you don't have a friend who can come over to water your plants, then I think that these tips are worth giving a try. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye!